That's how you feel, Jenny. <laughs> Beep <Beep-a-bots. laughs> <laughs> I'm really nervous. <laughs> but I'm excited. <laughs> Say hello to Andrew. Hello darling, I love you and I can't wait to marry you. I'm going to start crying so I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> Done it. <laughs> So congratulations on your wedding. I'm picking a great guy. Be sure to love him with all your heart. And see what I'll reply. Thank you for all the memories that I hold in my heart. <laughs> and as time goes by, new ones will form. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> You're not just marrying any woman. <coughs> <laughs> You're marrying a Western woman. <laughs> and something you need to watch out for is that women tend to get a bit heavier when they're married. Uh, but that's because single women go to the fridge, see what's in the fridge and go to bed. Married women see what's in bed and go to the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> and third, remember every day to say those three little words. I'm not talking about what's for dinner. I'm talking about I love you. <laughs> And if you say that to her, it'll mean more to her than lots of other things that you could do. Um, if you say, I love you, to Andrew, um, even though he's a man, and he's a manly man, it means an awful lot to him too. I, Andrew Graham Harley, do take you, Jennifer Ray Liston, do take you, Jennifer Ray Liston, to be my lawfully wedded wife, to be my lawfully wedded wife, and of my own free will and choice, and of my own free will and choice, covenant that I will cleave unto you and none else, covenant that I will cleave unto you and none else, that I will observe, I will observe, all the laws, all laws, covenants and obligations, covenants and obligations, pertaining to this holy state of matrimony, pertaining to this holy state of matrimony, and I will love. And oh, sorry. And I will love. <laughs> honor. Honor. And cherish you. And cherish you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I, Jennifer Ray Weston. Do take you, Andrew Graham Harley. Do take you, Andrew Graham Harley. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully and of my own free will and choice and of my own free will and choice covenant that I will cleave unto you and none else covenant that I will cleave unto you and none else that I will observe all the laws that I will observe all the laws covenants and obligations covenants and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony pertaining to the holy state of matrimony and I will love and I will love honour and on. cherish you Honour and cherish you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, I pronounce you, Andrew Graham Harley, and you, Jennifer. Ray Liston as husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity and a long life of happiness together. And may he enable you to keep sacred these covenants you've made today. These blessings I invoke upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
Ladies and gentlemen, can I have a very warm welcome and a huge round of applause for the new Mr. and Mrs. Farley. I remember the first time I met Jennifer. Um, I knew we were going to get along fine. It was 17th of May, um, 1981, just over eight, uh, 28 years ago. And um, I was sitting in the chair by the window, and a nurse gave me my firstborn. And, um, When I held her in my arms, she looked at me, and um, that really rolled really my heart. And uh, I guess she's had it pretty much ever since then. <laughs> Jenny's always been a quick learner. She's been quick at walking, quick at talking, and quick at running into trouble. And um, <laughs> these are the kind of attributes that Jennifer has, has inherited from her, her mum and dad. I'm happy to let you decide what attribute is inherited from which of the parents. <laughs> I'll discuss it with you like afterwards. <laughs> Jenny gives the impression she can do everything, but uh, actually that's not really true. Jenny's quite a shy and retiring kind of person, much like myself, and, um, but she does worry about people think about her. Um, so I'll tell you what I think about her. I think she's smart. She's really quick at picking things up. Um, she's kind of like the Borg. She assimilates information and uh, culture and becomes part of herself and uh, she becomes a better, wholer person because of that. She's beautiful. Uh, well, I really don't have to say it. It's kind of a redundant statement. We've seen her today and how she dresses, how she behaves and how she reacts. I think one of Jennifer's best attributes is the sparkly eyes and the, the ready smile. And I think that wins a number of hearts and wins her lots of friends. You know, when my, when my children cry, I cry. When my children bleed, I bleed. And when they're happy, I am happy. Um, and I think that's probably true for every parent, isn't it? We have that in us. Jen. <laughs> I love you so much. You, you really do complete me in ways that I could never imagine. Uh, being able to tell you this in front of all these people, it's nerve-wracking, but it's not really because it's what I want to shout out every minute to the whole world, every second I'm with you. I know I'm going to love you for the rest of my life. <laughs> it says don't cry at the bottom. <laughs> At about 10, I moved to Cumbria and I started at the Sea Scale Primary School. In the class was a lad randomly firing pencils into the ceiling with a rubber band. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive accuracy, I thought, but no obvious purpose. <laughs> this soon became clear when they started falling out, clattering all about the floor. The teacher's response, Andrew Harley, was soon to become an all too common cry. <laughs> so what's Andrew like to grow up with? Growing up with Andrew, he was cheeky, and he liked to take the neck. Now I mean the sort of cheek that was guaranteed to induce a very good rage. <laughs> Some examples. On the school bus, Andrew would dole it out from the safety of the front. When we got home, he would then break into a Linford Christie sprint, closely followed by the local's farmer's lad screaming his name. <laughs> if I remember rightly, Dawn, you used to have to wait outside the front door. <laughs> Seriously, though, um, Andrew's not a bad lad. 
uh, that he would like to think he sometimes is. Uh, he's actually a very, very intelligent town. It was these times knocking around together that are some of my fondest, fondest memories. Uh, it does exist, the Haynes Manual for the Woman. <laughs> So it is only left for me to, to say, Andrew and Jennifer, may your love be modern enough to survive the times and old fashioned enough to last forever. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding and raise your glasses. The bridegroom. To make you feel my 